This is basically me manifesting that this happens to me in real life one day. Something about this ring light makes me look absolutely decaying, undead, you know? Let's just get started. I've been starting my day with some black seed oil because I saw one TikTok that said it helped a girl lose weight, so that's what we're doing. I use glycolic acid as my toner. I have these reusable like wipes, which is so helpful. Okay, so you apply it to damp skin and then immediately apply a moisturizer. And if I was going to bed, I would use a retinol. I use 2% in squalene, so it moisturizes me at the same time. I feel like I am learning what to do with my skin. I still don't know. I basically base everything off my roommate who's obsessed with this stuff. I'm just like, oh, oh. And what was that? Right, right. This MAC Studio face thing is like probably my favorite because it's so light. It never looks cakey. Just gives me some color. Someone commented that I'm supposed to like rub this between my hands and then apply it. I tried that and I honestly just like applying it like this better. It's so cloudy today and I'm not leaving my house until like later. But if I was, I would wear sunscreen and I like this to wear sunscreen. A little goes a long way people to cover these veiny eyelids but yeah i do more of a skincare routine jump scare <sighs> goodness okay now that you're looking like a porcelain doll my battery's gonna die so i'll be right back i was really hesitant to make this video because i don't have like a beautiful marble bathroom I mean, my bathroom is cute, but it doesn't have like all the amazing natural lighting that everyone seems to always have in their bathroom, like a giant window. I just have like a tiny little window and it's like over there. It's half frosted, so I don't, you know, flash my neighbors while I'm in my most vulnerable state. I was under the impression everyone was always wearing a white robe. I just went and looked through some videos now and like no one has a white robe. So besides the only robe that I do have is uh, this crusty pink robe that has eyelash glue stains from when I um, accidentally shot myself in the face with pressurized eyelash glue and it's on my ceiling still. I need to scrape that off sometime soon. That doesn't make good for resale. This is like a crucial part of my routine these days. I take my contour shades and I go right on under my lip to make them bigger and I go above. Who needs lip injections when you can do this? It's all an illusion. You know, who needs a nose job when you can do this? Don't worry, it doesn't stay looking like this. Who needs a cute little sunburn when you have the same blush that you've used every day for seven years? I don't know how this thing is still going, genuinely. If you guys look at my old videos, it's the only blush I've ever used. It was my first blush. Literally so expired. Literally don't care. Who needs natural freckles when you have an eyebrow pencil? while I have this out, I might as well do my eyebrows. Another crucial part of my routine is my lash serums. And I have something to say about lash serums, okay? I had used Grande Lash since 2015. That's what contributed to my glow up majorly, was gaining eyelashes. And I saw a singular TikTok of a girl saying that you can get used to your eyelash serum and you have to switch it up sometimes. And she recommended Lucros from Amazon and it was like 50 or 60 bucks. So I bought it. Now my eyelashes are very short. This did nothing. I'm going back to Grande Lash. I'm loyal to Grande Lash. We're going back into that good old bronzer palette. I pretty much use the same palette for like everything on my whole face. Like this is the same exact colors that are on my forehead, my nose, my lips. It's just going all over my face. And lately I've been liking to like blend this out and up to like raise my eye. Like, you see that? I've been like doing that. Pretty much everything that I do is just regurgitation from like one TikTok video that I see. And I'm just like, yes. I'm gonna add a little bit of shadow on the lower lash line as well. I'm gonna do a blue inner corner. Literally every day that I wear makeup, I need some shimmer on my eyes. I love using this MAC glitter that I got in middle school. You heard me right, I was literally in middle school when I got this. No expiration date, nothing. So that means it can't expire. It's still full, like this thing, I swear I've been using it. it it's literally full, I don't know. I just have some like infinite makeup, I guess, that just never runs out. Probably a glitch in the simulation because like that doesn't make any sense. And I just throw some glitter all over my face because I love it. Why would I do anything else when I can do this? 
we move on to the classic winged eyeliner. I do a wing every day of my life and I have for a while. I posted like a TikTok that went viral with Andrew of us going back to late 2016. Someone commented and was like, wow, your makeup has stayed the exact same all those years. And I'm like, I don't know if that's something to be proud of or concerned about. Like, is that a good sign? But yeah, I've been doing wings since like 2015 every day. I've gotten better at doing them because like I know how to do them for hooded eyes now. Okay, I don't do this every day. Since we're here, I'm gonna do it. I take an Ardell Wispy and I just cut it in half. And then I have two Ardell Wispies and I just put them on the edges of my eyes after I do my mascara and it's a game changer. Sometimes I just like to use a clumpy old gross mascara like in the mix to get some more volume. Oh my God, my eyelashes look horrible that grueling process i'm just gonna take some eyelash glue all right one eye done done i think i need to throw this out it's a little past it's bedtime i love that my roommate is deciding to vacuum right now while i'm filming i have a ton of glitter just all over my cheeks so i'm just gonna brush that off not that i mind it i really kind of like it there but it's a little much see how like my lashes just bring the whole thing together like lashes are everything really okay and lastly i'm just gonna apply some tinted lip oil another hugely important part of my routine is my hair care if you had noticed in my videos recently my hair's been looking like terrible lately but i've been using this product that is helping me out so much and today's video is sponsored by uberless so yeah, let's jump into it. Okay, so you're about to see clips of me in the shower. Sorry in advance. And I also literally used my iPhone to film this. I'm so sorry, but it was too foggy for my regular camera. So I've been oiling my hair the nights before I wash it. So that's why I look extremely greasy in the shower. I promise that it's not my natural hair oils. In fact, I'm so dry. So like, that's not even a thing for me. And I started out with Uberless's moisturizing shampoo and I literally love this. Also, every time I oil my hair, I like to wash, rinse, and repeat. And as you can see, it's a lot more sudsy the second time around. And apparently that is the way that you're supposed to use all shampoos. They don't just say that as a gimmick to make you use shampoo more. It's actual technology. I washed, rinsed, repeat, and then I used this Uberless Bond Sustainer. And this stuff is absolutely amazing, guys. I'm obsessed with this. It smells really good too. And I'm telling you guys, my hair feels and looks amazing. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can like check it out. After I let it sit in my hair for 10 minutes, then I rinse it out. You can leave it on up to 20 minutes if you have really damaged hair. And I let my hair air dry. And as you guys can see, she looks wonderful. She looks healthy. She's glowing. You can use this one to two times a week. The Bond Sustainer is formulated with patents, Bond technology, coconut oil, and aloe vera to regenerate broken hair bonds, strengthen, and moisturize. The product is available at Sally Beauty or or I linked it below so you guys can check it out. I'm telling you guys, this is a really great product. You will see magic happen before your eyes. <laughs> so that was me earlier this morning in the shower. <laughs> it was a fun place to record yourself. I also have been trying out their smoothing ritual oil, Ritual Oil, that has orchid and argan oil complex. Mmm. I love adding oil to my hair after it's done styling. And it literally smells like orchids. My hair has not looked this good in a while. I have linked everything in the description below. You guys can check out all these Uberlist products for such an affordable price. Thank you again to Uberlist for sponsoring today's portion of the video. Okay, I'm gonna do a transition. Here's my outfit final. Why did I say it like that? Here's my final outfit. I think it's really cute. I'm wearing some flare leggings, of course, and a cute little crop with this comfy jacket. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, say, now I'm waiting for the real Vogue video or something. Don't like that. You guys know me. I always make you gas me up in, in the comment section if you made it to the end of my videos because you're a real one. That's why, duh. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you have a fabulous rest of your week and I will see you soon. Bye.